paint is dry. Are you guys ready to see it? What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today it is time to prep the E36 for paint. Yes, I am gonna paint the car now and not later because the engine is out of the car. It would just make life a whole lot easier to paint the bay too. Now the paint is not terrible, but it is faded on one side and on the roof. And I really wanna make this build look really clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. I have some paint. I just went to Harbor Freight, picked this little guy up. Now my plan is to put this up in the shop. This is a 10 by 20 foot like car cover canopy. As you can see, it's just like a top and I'll be able to like droop plastic down on the sides kind of where I need it to be. And we'll probably end up putting it behind the lift in the back have to move some of these cars out and put the E36 back here. Now this is definitely gonna be a multi-day process to do this. I've never painted a car before. I have no clue what I'm doing. It's gonna be a learning process for me, for sure. But the plan for the day, just get the car down, get the tent up, start prepping the engine bay. And there are a couple dents in the car. Like you can see like there's a dent here and there's one up front. I would like to smooth that out, bond it or whatever you need to do. I'm a buddy Jack Davis who's probably gonna come over and help me with that since he's done a lot of body work on cars before. But one good thing is once we got down like the whole painting thing, we'll be able to paint other cars we have in the shop, which will be super nice since we do have the new air compressor in the back. All I need to get is a spray gun and just some of the materials and we'll be able to do this on more than just one car. All right, you got the tent all up in the shop. It's actually looking pretty decent. Like I said, we are gonna have to droop some plastic down in the front and back, but right now we're just moving some cars around. Had a horrible idea. Now, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I wanna see how many miles are on the uh, the barn find E36. I, it doesn't have a motor, it's not connected to the ECU, but I'm gonna go ahead and run the jumper cables from the this, this red E36 to this one and see if it just turns like the dash on when I turn the key. I don't really know. This might cause a mad fire or not. We'll see. Yeah, we got nothing out of that. We tried. We'll find the mileage one of these days when we put it all put it all back together. Now it is time to start prepping the engine bay for paint. Initially I was gonna paint the engine bay, then I decided not to, and now I think I am going to. I'm like, I might as well, I'm here, everything's out pretty much. And it's a good point to kind of clean it up and just lay a little bit of paint on it. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's not really a show car. Just wanted to look kind of nice. And that is what I'm gonna be doing today. Like I said, I've never done paint like this before, I've never done body work, so I've had to call some people and ask for some advice on what to do. I'm going to be removing a lot of the stuff out of the engine bay, like this AC line, the reservoir, the brake booster. I'm going to leave the fuse box in because it's absolutely a pain to take out, and I'm afraid it would never go back in the, the right way. And like I said, I'm not too concerned about it being 100% perfect, so I will just be cleaning it up and taping it off. And there'll be a few areas that you can tell. Overall, it'll look really nice. So once all that out, I'm going to be scrubbing it down cleaning every single nook and cranny of this engine bay, and then get a scotch bright pad and start scuffing it up and begin the whole masking process of like taping off little stuff like this and, and all the little things that are, are gonna stay in place. Tape them off so we can get ready for some paint. Moving on to the brake booster, the hardest part is getting all the interior apart and getting your head up underneath the footwell. I think there's like four 13 millimeter bolts I was told and hopefully it should pull right out. I don't know, you just gotta be really careful with the interior because it's kind of old and very fragile. I'm just trying to keep it all in tip top shape. Boys, well, are hard at work. Well, we're back working on the barn fine build. We're gonna do engine bay paint. We're currently prepping it. Currently cleaning out every little nook and cranny of the engine bay, getting it ready, and then we're gonna go ahead and mask it up, start hitting it with a little bit of Scotch-Brite. Not 100% sure if we're gonna get to painting this thing tonight, but it is looking good. It looks better on camera than it does in person, but I think I'm gonna go ahead, <laughs> what are you wiping? You're wiping, no, we've, we've been already clean. We're gonna go ahead and mask off these stickers here and the VIN one here. That way it can kind of still look OEM. We really don't know what we're doing. We've never done this before. So this is kind of a learning experience for us. We'll see how it goes on this car. That way we can uh, learn some stuff and uh, do the next one a little bit better. Are you on that side? Um, over the windows and over the mirror. All 
Alrighty, time to scotch part the uh, the engine bay. I'm not quite sure how much you're supposed to do this. We did end up masking most of it. Well, we got a mask. Hold on. Okay, let's scuff it and then we can do the final tape. Yeah, that's that's going in. Andy, you can't say that. You're a minor. All right, we got it all masked up. Should uh, should be ready to roll. We're gonna go ahead and uh, what are we doing now? Pipe it down with some flex grease remover, spray the base coat, spray clean coat. Jack Davis is here helping us out. He knows yes, he knows paint a lot better than we do. He's gonna help us out. And try not to touch it after you wipe it too, because you don't want the oils from your skin to, to get on it. Okay. You got a flathead? 50, let's do a... I'll just pour half of it up there and see where it's at. Honestly, we'll probably go up to... Where's it at? Yeah, we'll probably go up to like 50. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's Alrighty, just finished painting the engine bay, the base coat. We're gonna mix up some clear. Have a little bit of paint left over. We're gonna go ahead and hit this bumper with it. This is the M3 bumper that it came with. We went ahead and put the masking on the bottom to keep the bottom black. Gonna hit it with some red. We're gonna do some heavy coats to get it, to get it the same shade as the engine bay. It's not a new bumper. I mean, it is new, but it's been sitting. So there are a few little scuffs on it. However, overall, it should be just fine. Like that little mark there, little things like that. It should come out good. Well, it's the next day, paint is dry. Are you guys ready to see it? Oh man, it came out pretty darn good. For just a quick little prep and mask job, it came out really good, I'm super pleased with it. Now, it's not 100% perfect, but for what I'm using the car for, just have a nice little shine to the engine bay. I cannot complain. Now, one little thing was there was some dirt underneath this uh, windshield here. Whenever we hit it with the paint gun, the air blasted a little bit of it right there on the edge, not the end of the world. Most of that will get covered up anyway in the back. Engine bay looks good. We had a little bit of paint left over. We didn't want to waste it, so we quickly hit this bumper over here. We barely prepped it, and the bumper wasn't perfect to begin with, so we didn't we didn't smooth it out completely because there were a few scrapes in it like I showed you, but it came out really, really nice. But for a bumper that came with the car, these usually sell for about $110 on eBay. Love these bumpers. That's what I run on my drift car here. I'm ready to paint the rest of the car. I just want to paint everything in here now. Every car, get them in the booth. Let's paint them. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and start unmasking uh, the bumper and the engine bay. That way we can go ahead and really look at it, how it's going to finally be. I'm gonna be kind of careful. Hasn't quite been 24 hours yet, so I don't really want to screw it up. I don't, like I said, I don't really know a whole lot about painting. I need to get that unmasked, and then we can go from there. So yesterday I did put the bumper back together and there was one little spot that we kind of messed up on the masking. Now here's the bumper with the trim back on it and the masking taken off. As you can see right there, one of the pieces of masking tape kind of laid a little bit funky, kind of messed that up. But other than that, it looks pretty, 
pretty darn good. I'm hoping that the color matches the rest of the car whenever we get it uh, situated. If not, this bumper is not perfect, so I will might just use this for another car and get a new one for the barn find. I finished unmasking everything. I, I taped off these little stickers, and they look really, really nice. It looks OEM. There's one on the side over there, and even like the little VIN stickers here on the uh, on the fenders. Like I said, I'm super pleased how it came out. It makes the car look so, so much better. I'm excited to do the rest of the car. I think I will do the rest of the car before I put the engine in, just because the whole tent is up and then once we do the car we can uh, replace that destroyed destroyed windshield and move on from there Alrighty, this episode's giveaway is going to be the Harbor Freight Braun under the hood light I absolutely love this thing I have one I recently did a little top five favorite tool video if you want to check that out there'll be a card here all you have to do to enter is drop a comment down below and tell me what color is your favorite on an E36. We have a variety of colors that we own throughout the shop and a couple of my buddies. Just like before, the giveaway will be open for one week after this video is posted and then I'll be announcing a winner on YouTube live stream. Make sure to follow me on Instagram right here. Stay up to date. I'll, I'll kind of be detailed whenever I'm going to announce the winner so a lot of you guys can tune in for that. I know a lot of my viewers are from out of the United States so I'm doing something a little bit different this time. If you're in the United States, I will ship the light to you directly and if you're out of the United States, I will email you a gift card to Harbor Freight. That way you can go on the website, buy it directly and work out shipping or sell the gift card or whatever you need to do. But that way it makes it equal that everybody has a chance. And this is just a little something to say thank you for all the support you guys show me. And like I said, every single episode of the Barn Find Build will have its unique, different giveaway. It should last about a week and then I'll announce the winner. This is not sponsored, just something I like to do for you guys to say thank you. Alrighty everybody, that is going to wrap up this episode. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. It helps a lot more people find it and it'll help the channel grow. Make sure to let me know what you think of the E36 bar and find build down in the comments and make sure you get your entry into the giveaway. I want to thank you guys so much again for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.